Hello ladies and gentlemen, Security Wolf here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the French Char B1 BIS. The Char B1 BIS was a French heavy tank manufactured before World War II. The Char B1 was a specialized breakthrough vehicle originally conceived as a self-propelled gun with a 75mm howitzer in the hull. Later a 47mm gun and a turret was added to allow it to function as a battle tank, fighting enemy armor um, and equipping the armor divisions of the infantry arm. Starting in the early 20s, its development and production were repeatedly delayed, resulting in a vehicle that was both technologically complex and expensive, and already obsolete when real mass production of a derived version, the Char B1 BIS, started in the late 30s. Although a second up armored version, the Char B1 Ter, was developed, only two prototypes were built. Among the most powerful and armored and uh, armed and armored uh, tanks of its day, the type was very effective in direct confrontations with German armor in 1940 during the Battle of France, but slow speed and high fuel consumption made it ill adapt to the war of movement that was then being fought. After the defeat of France, capture B Char B1 BIS would be used by Germany with some rebuilt as flamethrowers, munition panders, and were mechanized artillery. So overall, the Char B1 is um, a very iconic French tank of World War II, as it kind of, I would say, is probably the poster tank um, out of all the tanks really during that war that France uh, developed. Uh, the Char B1, while being a very, uh, you know, I guess, behind in the in the technology department, uh, the tank itself was actually very uh, effective at going up head head with German armor at the time. And again, this was in the early stage of the war, so most of the armor it was countering was kind of Panzer III, Panzer IV um, type designs, but still it was very effective at uh, neutralizing those targets and withstanding those shots. I believe there is a story as well, like the Battle of Somme or something where a French uh, B1 took out several uh, Panzers. Um, so a very effective tank and definitely if used in the right conditions can be very effective. Um, however, you know, obviously this tank is a bit clunky, a bit large, and uh, high fuel consumptions and, you know, uh, slow speeds really, you know, were the end of this vehicle. Um, overall, really interesting vehicle, and I felt uh, definitely a vehicle that needs to be done for especially a country we don't visit too much in my tutorial series, which is France. And uh, what better tank to do than the Char B1, as it was their very iconic uh, tank for them. So anyways, going ahead and uh, jumping right into it, we're going to go and take a look at the build itself, see exactly what we'll be building here, and obviously move into the tutorial here shortly. So starting off with, um, this is the version that has the 75mm gun mounted in their hull. Um, I do want to say there are some versions that don't include it, um, or some different variants or something like that. Uh, maybe I'm completely wrong, who knows, but I could have swore there was some variants that don't have the hull mounted cannon. But anyways, it's got a 75mm field artillery howitzer. Uh, kind of located right here in this area here. Um, as we go ahead and work our way back, we obviously have the tracks here um, that obviously run here. And it's kind of a higher tank. It sits real high. It's got some pretty high tracks. Um, it's got a very small 47mm uh, turret here equipped with a 47mm uh, gun. It's also got a coaxial machine gun, which uh, kind of like sticks out of this little kind of um, you know pyramid type shape that sticks off from the turret itself. Um, and the machine gun barely sticks out so technically this skeleton skull here is meant to represent that area and uh, we can't really have the end rod sticking off of it because it's going to look too far and too weird if we have it placed there a uh, little viewports here on both sides of the turret on top you got the hatch here a hatch on the back of the turret for loading ammunition uh some different detailing and stuff like that on the back here radio antennas different hatches the muffler exhaust um all that that runs uh basically across the build here and um, obviously in the back here some uh, you know, simple little detailing there. And also just add a little bit more detail on here. I saw some pictures with uh, Char B1 Bisses having uh, some jerry cans and stuff like that, um, basically on top of the tank itself. So obviously that makes sense considering the tank has a high fuel consumption. So, you know, put some jerry cans here to be able to refill um, from, during battle or something like that. So we have some mounted up on top there and that's also based off photos I've actually seen of it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the Char B1 BIS. Uh, overall, a really nice and uh, very long due build. So hopefully you guys can all enjoy it. And um, yeah, with that, let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our first layer, we have layer one. For layer one, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go and grab ourselves some nether brick uh, slabs. So you're going to place down a nether brick slab like so. And then we're going to place down a nether brick top slab coming off of it. And this is going to be going toward the front and our right side tracks here. 
When that's done there, we're going to grab our green terracotta, place it on a green terracotta block, followed by a spruce wood plank, green terracotta, spruce wood plank, green terracotta, spruce wood plank, green terracotta, uh, spruce wood plank, and green terracotta, like that, along the side here. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some signs and buttons. We're going to place down stone buttons on all the green terracotta blocks, and then signs here on the spruce wood planks. So pretty straightforward here, nothing real fancy. Uh, when that's done, on the back here, we're just going to place down another brick upside down stair like that on the back. With that done, we're going to go ahead and grab our dark oak wood top slabs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three. Come off this green terracotta block. And we then want to go ahead and go to the spruce wood plank here and place down a row of one, two, and three dark oak wood top slabs across. We're then going to take our dark oak wood top slabs and fill in the space here in the middle for the uh, basically bottom here uh, hole for the tank itself. When that's done, we're going to basically copy the same design we did over on the left side, just over here to this side. So we're going to have the alternating pattern, or sorry, what we did on the right side over to the left side here. And we're just going to go ahead and basically copy the same exact thing. So I'm going to go a little bit faster here, obviously, since we've already, you know, went over kind of in a little bit more slower detail what we did on the right side. And it's the same thing. So we're just going to go ahead and go through it a little bit faster this time around. And then uh, when that's all done, also don't forget our detailing here for our signs stone buttons and all that fun stuff there to go ahead and make the site in here for the tracks. Anyways, with that all complete, that is going to wrap up layer number one. With that, let's move on to layer two. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go and place down a narrow brick upside down stair, come off this narrow brick top slab here on the front. After that's done, going back from it, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair, followed by a stair right behind it, and we're going to do the same thing over here on this side as well, like this for the start of the front wheels. On the side of the first stair here, uh, or the side of the second upside down stair, we're going to place down a sign on both sides like that on the outside there. And then we want to go ahead and go to the second dark oak wood stair here and place down a row of three of dark oak wood top slabs across the front like that. Once that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down a row of what is going to be five across like this. The um, whole length of the build there, followed by a zombie head on both ends. When that's done there, we're going to place down an additional three more rows of five. So one, two, and three. So we have a total of five, or sorry, we have a total of four rows of five. And then we want to go ahead and grab our stone buttons, and we're going to place down stone buttons on the second and fourth row like this on the side here. Same thing over here with one and, um, or sorry, two and four. Uh, with that all done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some um, black wool blocks. And we want to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, and three of black wool blocks along the side here, one, two, and three. And in the middle space here, we can just go ahead and fill this in with green terracotta like that just to close the build off. And then we want to place down wooden, or sorry, some wooden ladders here on the black wool blocks. After that, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this on both sides. And then come off the sides of the stairs out to the outside. We're going to place down a zombie head like that with a row of three of green terracotta blocks across in between those dark oak wood stairs. Once that's done, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of dark oak wood, or sorry, green terracotta blocks across, followed by a dark oak wood up sound stair on both ends of this row of three. After that, going on the back of these dark oak wood upside down stairs, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair, followed by a nether brick upside down stair like that, coming off those stairs. With that done, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down a row of three across in between those dark oak wood stairs, and then we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some zombie heads, a dark oak wood fence gate, and also a wooden sign. We're going to place down a uh, dark oak wood fence gate, coming off the middle green terracotta block, and we're going to have it opened up toward the block like so. We then want to place down a wooden sign coming off the uh, dark oak wood fence gate, followed by a zombie head on these two green terracotta blocks to both sides of it, like that to go ahead and create a little back detailing. With that all done there, that is going to complete layer number two, and with that, let's move on to layer number three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. For layer three, we're going to start off by placing down a nether brick stair on top of these nether brick uh, upside down stairs up here in the front. We then want to place down a dark oak wood stair that goes back from those two nether brick stairs. Once that's done, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on the back of these two dark oak wood stairs on both sides here, followed by a stone button coming off this green terracotta block to the side like so. In the middle space here, we're going to place down a green terracotta block coming off this one on the, on the right side here. On the right side, and then coming off that block, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall forward, followed by a zombie head, and then we also want to place down a wooden sign on the side of this mossy cobblestone wall. Um, after that's all done there, we want to go and then take our dark oak wood stairs, place down one and two dark oak wood stairs over like that. And we also want to place down uh, a wooden sign here on the side of this dark oak wood stair like so. Uh, with that done there, we're going to go ahead and 
go back to this section here. We're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta blocks across the middle section here, followed by a dark oak with upside down stair to both sides. Once that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down three rows of three. So one, two, or sorry, three rows of five, my bad, and three like this. And then we're going to place down a row of stone buns along the side of these blocks, like so, all the way down. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our black wool blocks, place down another row of three. Uh, going back here, wooden signs on the side here, same thing over here, wooden signs. Uh, we then want to take our green terracotta blocks and fill in the space in between these black wool blocks, just like that, and uh, that will pretty much fill in the middle space there. Once that's done, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of green terracotta across here in the middle, followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair to both sides, with a wooden sign on the side of these dark oak wood stairs. After that's done there, we're going to take our dark oak wood stairs, place down two stairs back to back on top of these two dark oak wood upside down stairs for the back. Uh, sprocket wheel and same thing over here and then we want to go and take our green terracotta and just place down two rows of three across in between them to fill that space in on the back side here we're just going to place down another brick stair on top of this narrow brick upside down stair here on both sides and in the middle space here we're just going to place down some iron bars for like some makeshift chains and a stone button here on the right side so chains for uh you know i really don't know the purpose but i saw a couple that have some chains on the back so so maybe for like unditching or pulling stuff or something who knows uh, but yeah that's right there is going to do it for layer number three with that let's go ahead and move on to layer number four all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer number four for layer four we're going to start off by placing down a black carpet on top of these dark oak wood stairs here on both sides going back from that uh black carpet we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab again on both sides here uh once that's done on top of this green terracotta block right here uh, I'm actually going to make a small uh, design adjustment here. I think it will look a little bit better, kind of clean this area up right here. Uh, we're actually going to be placing down a lever on this green terracotta block and facing it backwards like that. Now, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, dark oak wood uh, slab here that goes back on both sides. And then this right here is where it kind of changes depending on which side you're on. So over here on the right side, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair coming off this lever. So something like that for the front there. We're then going to place down a green terracotta block over with a sign coming off the green terracotta block toward the front. And then coming off this, we're going to place down a, dark, or a spruce wood upside down stair like that for the driver's viewport there. After that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and uh, continue on. We're going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block coming off this one here, followed by one block to the right. Uh, we then want to grab a spruce wood plank and place down a spruce wood plank here behind this spruce wood stair like that to the side there. We then want to place down a dark oak wood stair that's coming off this spruce wood plank and a dark oak wood stair coming off this green terracotta block on both ends. Uh, with that done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some narrow brick slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six uh, narrow brick top slabs back. And uh, we're going to go and do the same thing over here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, with that done, we're going to do a total of uh, one, two, three, and four rows of green terracotta across. We then want to do two spruce wood planks here on the right side, followed by a green terracotta block, and then a narrow row with three of green terracotta across. So you get something that looks like this from up above. Once that's done there, on this back section here, we're gonna go and place down a dark oak wood, or sorry, my bad, two narrow brick slabs, coming off this narrow brick top slab here, so same thing over here as well. Uh, we also want to go and grab ourselves signs and place down signs on the sides of these narrow brick top slabs, so same thing here on both sides. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our, uh, we're going to take a dark oak wood stair, place down a dark oak wood stair on this green terracotta block, sign coming off the front of the stair, and we're also going to place down a green carpet on top of the stair, like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a daylight sensor here to the left side of the stair, and a spruce wood slab to the right side. We're then going to grab ourselves some spruce wood stairs, and we're going to place down a row of two of spruce wood stairs on the right side here, followed by a dark oak wood stair there on the left side. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to go and grab ourselves some acacia wood slabs. We're going to place down acacia wood top slab that's on top of this uh, narrow brick stair here on both sides. And then coming off the acacia wood top slab, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off of it like this toward the back there for your mufflers. Uh, or I say mufflers, but basically your exhaust tips. There's not really any muffler mufflers going on here with a tank. Anyways, uh, that's uh, really going to do it for layer 4, and uh, with that we're going to go ahead and move into our next layer, layer 5. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer 5. For layer 5, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood upside down stair. That's going to go ahead and go on top of this green, or sorry my bad, it's going to go one block forward, so on top of this green terracotta block right here. Uh, to both sides of the stair, we're going to place, or just this one side, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down corner stair. So basically you have the regular flat stair here, and that corner stair coming off of it. 
coming off the uh, dark oak with regular stair here or the upside down stair that's not a corner stair we're gonna place down a uh, dark oak fence gate going forward followed by a zombie head on the tip of it and we also want to place down your zombie head coming off this dark oak wood upside down corner stair uh, with that done uh, we're going to go to the face of the stair here on the side of it place down a wooden sign and over here on uh, this side of this stair we're going to place down a wooden sign as well with that done we're going to place down a green terracotta block right here followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair that's going to be a corner stair as well so it's going to come off this corner stair being a corner stair like that um, after that's done there, we're going to go and place down a dark oak wood upside down stair, come off this green terracotta block to the right side there. And then after that, we're going to go and place down a second dark oak wood stair back over here on the right side, followed by a green terracotta block here in the middle. Now coming off the green, terra or green terracotta block to the back, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair, followed by a corner stair, come off this dark oak wood stair, and then another corner stair, come off this corner stair. So you have something that looks like this on the side of here, the turret. Uh, with that done, over here on the uh, right side, there's nothing really much for us to do except to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone comparator and place it down on top of that green terracotta block. We're then going to take green carpet and place down green carpet on top of the first four, uh, another brick top set, so one, two, three, four, and sorry, my bad, actually five, the, so the first five back like that. Uh, once that's done there, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head and some end rods. We're going to place down a zombie head here in the middle followed by an end rod to both sides of it. We also want to take levers, place down two levers flicked toward each other on these two spruce wood planks here. And on top of this green terracotta block to the side of these levers, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall, which will be where our radio antenna is going to stick up from. After that, we're going to place down a row of five of uh, acacia wood slabs across like this. And then we want to place down uh, two wooden trap doors back from these acacia wood slabs here on both ends like that. And uh, with that all wrapped up there, that is going to pretty much complete layer 5 for us. With that, we're going to go ahead and move into what uh, will probably be our last final layers. We're probably going to be going ahead and move on to layers 6, uh, 7, and 8, where we're going to go ahead and put the radio antenna on, the top of the turret, all that fun stuff. Uh, one thing I want to add on also is if you guys do want to add these jerry cans, really simply over here on the right side, we're going to break these two green carpets, place down two shulker boxes, and then place down two zombie heads on these shulker boxes like that for the little jerry cans mounted on the sides there and we can also place down some signs on the side of them as well for a little bit of detail and uh, anyways with that that's going to do it for layer five let's move on to our last final layers layer six through eight all right guys go ahead moving into our last final layers we've moved into layers uh six through eight uh so one quick thing i want to make a quick adjustment for is that this uh dark oak fence gate up here it's actually supposed to be a dark oak with tops up i don't know why i put down a, a zombie head i was thinking maybe over here on this side or thinking ahead my brain just got all mushy or whatever i don't know that's supposed to be a dark oak with top slab so let's go ahead and fix that uh but then after that we're going to go ahead and place down a green carpet on top of the top slab after that on top of the stair we're going to place down a dark oak with slab like this followed by a zombie head here at about a 45 degree angle on top of this dark oak with upside down corner stair over here to the left side once that's done we're going to place down a dark oak with stair that's going to come off this dark oak with slab like this and to the uh, left side here of the stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood corner stair like that. Uh, once that's done over here on this uh, upside down dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a zombie head at a 45 degree angle like that. And then we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair coming off the dark oak wood stair here right next to the zombie head like so. On the inside here of the stair, we're going to place down a green uh, terracotta block. And then we want to place down one more green terracotta block to the side here. So row of two, item frame on the side, uh, black wool block in the item frame and this sign over it like so. And same thing over here, so sign on this dark oak wood stair, item frame, black wool block like that to uh, wrap that up. Uh, and when that's all done here, on the back we're going to place down a spruce wood stair on top of this dark oak wood upside down stair. And then we want to go ahead and just place down a zombie head here in the corner at a 45 degree angle, followed by a zombie head that comes off the side of this spruce wood stair. Uh, with that all done, uh, we're going to go and place down a spruce wood slab on top of this green terracotta block to the left side, and that's going to complete your turret. And the last thing for us to do is just to take some iron bars and we're going to go ahead and go up one, two, and three iron bars up from this uh, mossy cobblestone wall. And once you have that all complete, that is going to complete my tutorial for the Char B1 Bis uh, Medium Tank. Hope you guys do enjoy this build. I know we don't visit France too much, so it's also always a pleasure to get another France build into our lineup of vehicles. So hope you guys do enjoy it. Um, anyways, if you guys do end up using this design, I do I say you guys give me proper credit for it? It's been anything from the side of the build, link to my channel, or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to whatever projects you guys are working on. So overall, have fun, enjoy the build, and um, hopefully it uh, suits your worlds and all that fun stuff. Um, there's that, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. 
As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.